Hi, how you doing? I'm uh, Nick Rayo. I'm here for NewYork.com and Little Italy. They wanted me to do a little piece on Little Italy. Now, if I'm going to come down here and talk about Little Italy, the guy I got to get a hold of is Vinny Velli. He's known as the unofficial mayor of uh, Elizabeth Street. He's been a lifelong resident here. You guys probably know him from Casino, and he's he's done a bunch of other stuff. So, Vinny, tell him some of the other stuff that you've been in. Well, Sopranos, analyze this, analyze that. Uh... God, uh, Ghost Dog. In this place right here, I played Artie Piscano in Casino. Martin Scorsese's very first movie, it was, it was a short film called Who's That Knocking At My Door? And he put his mother in that film, and that was in the back of this meat market here. That was her very first film, and then her very last film that she did was Casino, and I was her son. And Martin Scorsese was also, his, him and his parents all came from this block. All right, we're going to be moving on to some other spots around Little Italy, and uh, Vinny will uh, give us the lowdown on them. All right. Vinny, you got me over here at 247 Mulberry Street. Is there any, it's a shoe store over here. Is there any particular significance to this shoe store? Yeah, well, it's a shoe store now. It used to be uh, John Gotti's uh, social club. It was called the Raven Night Club back then, and... Uh, um, he was right here. He yeah, it was right, right here. here. Did you ever yeah, see him? Oh, yeah, I used to see him all the time. Everybody used to see him in the neighborhood. Him and his friends used to hang out outside. The doors were always open. You still think there's wise guys in the neighborhood, Vinny? You know, you don't know what wise guys look like anymore. Yeah, years ago, they used to wear black shirts and white ties, right. you know? But like I said, they we've never had any problems with them. So you can't tell who's who down here, in other words. So in other words, if you come down over here to Mulberry Street, uh, Little Italy, don't mess with anybody because you never know who you're going to be messing with, all right? So we're going to take a little walk, and we're going to explore a little Italy, uh, a little bit more over here with uh, Vinny Vella, the uh, unofficial mayor of Elizabeth Street, and uh, he'll show us the next spot over here. Uh, 176 and a half Mulberry Street. Vinny, this bar looks familiar to me. Is there any reason why it should look familiar? Yeah, well, they shot the Sopranos in here. I'm in Sopranos. I don't remember if it was the uh, first season or the fifth season. I think it was the fifth. I'm a Sopranos fan myself. I was also on the first season. As a matter of fact, me and you were in the same thing. We're getting thrown in the paddy wagon. That, that, you're remember right. That? You're remember right. That? I know it was a well, long time ago. That was another movie. Was that wasn't Sopranos, though. Yeah. No, we no, got... it was the Sopranos. Was it? Oh, it was that's the right. Sopranos. It that's was the Sopranos. That's the first Sopranos. time we met. See that? But anyway, we're over here. We're in front of Mulberry Street. When we go inside, I'm sure people are going to recognize it, too. NewYork.com. Take a look at that. You got that? Frank Sinatra used to drink here. <clears throat> well, not used to. I mean, he came in here, you know. He, he came Frank in Frank Sinatra, Battle yeah. Monroe. Every actor, I, I guess, in the world had been down here in Little Italy. Now, the original, original owner was that guy in the white apron. Right. Then this up here, yeah. there's a little balcony, and these are the steps that goes upstairs. Right. So years ago, you know, if any of the guys wanted to talk and have a little conversation, they should go up there so they didn't have to bang with the people. Right, and the right, guy right. used to say at the bottom of the step, yeah. and if somebody tried to go up there, he'd say, where are you going? Don't worry, there's no yeah. more room up there. Okay. Stay down here. So they used it in the movies, but the real guys used it in real <laughs> life way yeah, back yeah. when. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah so it's how, I can't even... I don't even know how old this place is, yeah. but it's been here since yeah. I was a kid. This this place yeah. has to be here at least 100 years. I remember you were the New York mob, you right? You was, this was when this you was came the in New the, New York, York, yeah, the, the New York mob, right. and you had the Correct. Jersey mob when the Sopranos when they yeah. shot it over here. So you know, you come on down, you can have a cinema history, a film history over here. You have a have a, a drink in a bar where a ton of stuff has gone on. All right, in real life too. I'm here on the corner of Hester and Mulberry Street. We're standing in front of a restaurant called uh, the Gennaro's. But I remember when I was a kid, this place had a different name. It used to be called Umberto's. Vinny, can you tell us what happened in Umberto's? Yeah, well, this was a place where um, a crazy, they used to call him Crazy Joe Gallo. Yeah. This is where he was killed. Yeah. Yeah, I guess he was sitting down, I think he was sitting down with a, with a few people. They came in, they shot him and left. Yeah. I don't know if they had, these guys ever got caught, whatever, but... Yeah, uh, I, I remember it had something to do because you had Colombo got whacked at the Columbus Day Parade, and, and he uh, got whacked Columbus at Circle. Yeah, yeah, Columbus Circle. He got, and the thing was, they shot him. They shot him in front of his family, so that was the deal over here because they shot Crazy Joe in front of his family, from what I remember. Were you around at the time? Unfortunately, every time, every, you know, it was just a coincidence. Every time these guys were, sh were being killed, I was always out of town. That's a good alibi, Vinny. All right, here's the bullet holes. 
these little nicks in the wall, supposedly from the bad old days when uh, Crazy Joe Gallo got whacked at this spot. Out of curiosity, did they get anybody else uh, that they weren't supposed to hit or anything? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't that bad. But, you know, it happened all around town. You know, some of it happened here, some of it happened elsewhere. Yeah. But you want to know something? Yeah. <clears throat> it, it became a real nice neighborhood. Yeah, and, uh, I mean, yeah. it's still quite a few Italians down here. Nice restaurants, good people. Yeah. Years ago, it was just a little tougher. Yeah, a little yeah. tougher. Well, I know, I know one thing, and from my father always telling me and everything else like that, too. One thing you got to say about Little Italy, they always whacked who was supposed to get whacked, and the tourist has never been whacked down here. So feel free to come on down here, enjoy your meal, take in the sights. Nick Rayo, NewYork.com, along with my good buddy, NewYork.com, that's the state, that's the, that's the program to watch. There you NewYork.com, there, there you go. go. Thanks.